Pays as unleashed here today, and you're back with some more news on Sonic Frontiers. Now, today's news isn't massive, though it's still pretty exciting, so I might as well talk about it. And it's to do with the music of Sonic Frontiers. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to enemy.com. Don't ask, I really never heard of this website before. We Sonic Rush. Right, so this interview on this website is from Jun Sonoi, and I'm pretty sure you pronounce it like that. It's either Jun Sonoi or Jun Sonoi. I usually say Jun Sonoi, but uh, I don't know, man. It's really hard to pronounce like Japanese names and everything. But we're not going to read the entire this interview anything because a lot of it isn't relevant to Frontiers. This is basically just recapping the entire series and everything. But there is one paragraph which we are going to read, which is very, very good. So let's read it, shall we? But of course. He has also been working on the music for Sonic Frontiers, the recently announced game which will be the first to place a blue hedgehog in an open world, and is due to be released in late 2022. This game is going to broaden how we view Sonic games, and I'm so excited for 2022. And that's pretty much it for all the information, so let's discuss about it. Right, so then, it looks like our boy Jun Sonoe is going to be working on the soundtrack for Sonic Frontiers. I'm very happy about that, I can't lie. Jun is just... My, I, I can't express how much I love his music, man. It's just so good. Even it's non-Sonic music. It's just perfection. This is amazing. Jun's been with the series since... I think Sonic 3. And it's been 20 plus years now. And he's still here. Making bangers of soundtracks. And I know this is probably a controversial opinion. But I actually really like Sonic Colors Ultimate soundtrack. And especially Jun's remixes. The highlight of that soundtrack... It's Terminal Velocity. The Act 1 and 2 remix is... Oh my god! It's literal sex. That's that's basically what it is. is my, my ears were literally in love. Jun's guitar work is just... Ooh! It's just so good! But not only that, he's the boss remix for that game as well. Especially the Orkin vs. Scullion one. I love the organ in that. It's just... Man, you know, you just, just play Just play that, man. The organ is so good. Just play it. Listen to that, man, that is just fire! Anybody who says Sonic was Ultimate soundtrack has nothing to appreciate, get out, just just leave! You, the door's right there! Just, just literally just go! I don't want to hear it! June just carried Ultimate soundtrack so hard! But not only that, even in the Negoist Armor um, Phase 2 theme, he had a bit of guitar there and while some people don't like it, I personally like it, it wasn't like over the top or anything, it was just like very quiet, that actually just, that, it just fitted with the orchestra and everything like that and it just works perfectly and honestly if you can do that like, replicate that same style for um, Sonic Frontiers that'd be absolutely brilliant it would be now we do know that uh, Tomoyo Tani as usual is also working on Sonic Frontiers so maybe we could have a combination of those two styles in the same game just like you know similar to Sonic Colors Ultimate though with Otani style I am hoping that he'll go back to like 06 and Unleash type Otani, not Colors Ultimate and Forces Otani. While I do love Otani's style in Forces and Colors Ultimate, I just don't think it would fit for an open world where it's supposed to be desolate and just beauty and isolation. I don't think dubstep on the scale of Sonic Colors Ultimate's Planet Wisp Back 1 remix is going to sue that. Can you just imagine Sonic just casually kind of strolling in a beautiful field and you got. Playing over that. That would just not sue at all. It just completely just ruined the entire mood. Dubstep isn't going to work for the open world. Though with the cyberspace levels, however, I definitely think Dubstep could work extremely well there. Because just think about it. Cyberspace is going to be all electronical and everything. And if you got like calm music like on the scale of Kingdom Valley, it's not going to sue all that well. But say if you got like, yeah, Planet Wisp Back 1, chuck that into the cyberspace levels. Like, That would suit the cyberspace levels perfectly because all about upbeat stuff just hurrying to finish levels to unlock the chaos emerald. And if you have like calm music, it's not really gonna fit. But this is where Jun Sonoe steps in. Maybe for the cyberspace levels, you could have Jun Sonoe's hard rock, just Sonic Adventure S type of stuff, what we heard in 
Now, basically, Terminal Velocity and Sonic Wars Ultimate, basically, chuck that into the cyberspace levels, but then with the open world, you have Otani's side from all six and Unleashed. I think if we've had something like that, that'll be just perfect. And honestly, as much as people don't like Otani's style, from what we heard in the Sonic Frontiers trailer, that music was just beautiful. It's just so good. That is the type of music I expect to hear in the open world. If we have more dubstep stuff like Forces and Colors Ultimate in the open world, that's going to be heavily disappointing, to be honest, I can't lie. I'm definitely looking forward to Sonic Frontiers soundtrack. If Otani can just pull that 06 style and Unleashed back into Sonic Frontiers, that would be music to my ears, literally. It'd be such a nice change from Colors Ultimate and Forces as well. Obviously, I still like those soundtracks a lot. I still do prefer that the likes of Black Knight, Unleashed, 06, with actual real instruments. It would just immerse you into the game so much more, just setting the atmosphere perfectly as you run through that open world. Now, we don't want to get one thing out of the way, however. I've seen some people saying that, you know what, T. Lopez, he actually did the music for the trailer, which he did. Tomoyo Tani and T. Lopez composed the trailer music for the Frontiers announcement thing. But unfortunately, T. Lopez said he is not going to be working on the soundtrack for Sonic Frontiers. It was just a trailer he was doing, so before anybody gets a hope, up anything, no, keep calm. Lopez is sadly going to have to sit this one out. The last point I want to talk about right now, and that is to do with Jun Snowy. Now, we also know that Jun Snowy is actually part of a band, a very famous band, which we all know as Crush 40. Could we see Crush 40 performing for Sonic Frontiers? I mean, we got Crush 40 in Team Sonic Racing, and surely, like, surely, Sega would bring Crush 40 back just for a single game, would they? I mean, we even got Crush 40 for the Sonic Symphony, so without Sega, we just keep Johnny and Crush, the rest of the Crush 40 band just for one game, TSR. I do think there is a possibility that they could return for Sonic Frontiers, and if they don't, obviously I'm going to be a bit disappointed, but it will be the end of the world. We'll still have, hopefully, a banger main theme for Sonic Frontiers, vocals as well, obviously, and maybe, as the rumors have been going around, maybe Crush 40 can hopefully get a song into the Sonic Movie 2, like, please. If I heard Crush 40 in Sonic Movie 2 in the cinema, that would be just... Man, my mind will literally be blown right now. I'll be so happy, like. And so will everybody else, man. Come on. Come on, Jeff Fowler. Give it to us. Come on. Anyways, that just wraps it up for today's video. So yes, Jun Sonoe is going to be working on Sonic Frontiers. And whether that means Crush 40 is going to be working on the game, that remains to be seen. But what do you guys think of this news? And what do you think of the discussion I've been talking about in today's video? Do you agree with me or disagree? Let me know down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by hitting that join button down below. And remember, it is not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.